How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel and the video review of the Eqin EV800 the 5.8 gigahertz FPV goggles with the race band 40 channels and auto searching capability with the 5 inch HD LCD display but it's actually a 800 by 480 pixel display so it is actually a VGA quality and has a built-in 3.7 volt 2000 milliamp size battery in the goggles itself and the runtime is three and a half hours this is what you get from inside the box you get the usb charge cord here you also get the backup battery charge cord which is really nice it works with a 2s or 3s battery you also are given this 3.5 millimeter audio jack conversion so you can stick this in to the audio port and stick your 3.5 millimeter headphones a cleaning cloth and the instruction manual paper all right let's take a look at the goggles itself it has this nice velvety finish coating, uh, the scratch resistant coating. And as you can see, uh, I've done use this goggles uh, for months already and it's been weathered somewhat. And this is a very good goggles. It is my go to goggles when I'm at home practicing. All you got to do is put on the antenna and press the button and you're ready to go. Although I already have the antenna stuck on there. So all I got to do is press the button and you are ready to go. Just charge it in this DC uh, 5 volt charge port right here. Plug it in and you have a red light indicating you are charging. Green light indicating that it is done charging. There's a search button right on the top left. Power button right here. Channel plus, band plus button and the menu button. And again, a band and a channel button one more time. Now, I don't know why they put it two times because these functions are the same as these functions okay uh, it is also a separable design so you can undo the goggles in half now this is a standalone monitor because it also has a six millimeter tripod nut you can attach it to any tripod and use it as a standalone monitor and because the screen is recessed in there about an inch and a half or so it works perfectly in the sun as well. It hides all the sun glare inside this little box. So that's really nice. So let's put this down and take a look at the other side. There is the Fresnel lens on the inside. You can go ahead and clean the inside of the Fresnel lens. Mine's a little dirty. Uh, and also you can clean it from inside here as well. Now, when I first got these goggles, uh, it was not provided with this nice foam facial protection foam thing um, it came separately uh, about a month or so later um, it was sent to me in the mail by banggood and uh, i just got an email that an item has shipped i was wondering what that item was uh, but thank you banggood for taking care of your customers even after the purchase uh, before i put this sponge on there this thing was cutting into your face so it was very uncomfortable but with the sponge it is really nice all right so to put it back oops all you do is line up those little tabs right there insert it in there and just slide it back in and there you go okay i have the vtx powered on and it is pointing at the product box so let's go ahead and turn on the goggles hitting that power button right here now if you just short press the power button it will not come on so you have to long press it for about a couple seconds and there you go the power comes on now let's take a look at the top left hand corner there's the signal bar there and right next to it there's the channel and the frequency on the right top corner there is the battery level indicator so that is really nice now let's go ahead and change the the band here to a different band so we are not connected so let's change it to band C 
it is on C band and channel two. Now let's hit this search button to see what it does. Okay, hit it and it is searching and it just went up to C dash five. Hit it again, C dash six. Hit it one more time, C seven, C eight. Sometimes it skips one channel, sometimes two and sometimes none at all. It just goes up one channel at a time, like here, D1, and there you go. We are back to D2. So as you can see, this search button is not really cycling through all of the channels and finding and locking on to the strongest signal. It just circles through and finds the nearest signal that it can lock on to. So sometimes it is faster to just change channels and bands with these two buttons here. All right, so let's take a look at the next button down the line, uh, the battery indicator, the power button. Now next is the channel up button. So let's go ahead and hit that channel up button. There you go, changing the channels, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, eight channels, all right? Next button is the band button. Let's go ahead and hit that. Changes the band, A, B, C, D, and R. Let's go back to D, and we are locked back on. Now let's go hit that menu button next and see what that does. All right, brings up the adjustable tabs, brightness, contrast, color, sharpness, volume, power off, language, and exit. And you can toggle the values up and down with the band and the channel buttons. All right. Now, next button down the line is the band button again, the bigger band button. Let's see what happens to it. There you go. Changes the band, just like the small band button. And the channel button, the bigger channel button, does the same functions as the little channel button. All right. So I don't know why they put this thing here twice, but that's the way they did it. Uh, the ones on this side is a lot easier to use because your fingers can um, easy to uh, determine which one is which. Over here, you're confused with all the other buttons. So these are the buttons to go to while you got the goggles on your head. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, go outside and do a little test of this goggles. All right, I got the EV800 goggles by Ichin here. And I got it set up with the circular polarized antenna, the four leaf. And I got my phone ready to uh, record the screen itself because this does not have a DVR. So we're gonna take a look at that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my fat shark goggles to fly the quadcopter. And I've got the same style antenna on this one. So we can compare. So we have the same playing field. I'm gonna be recording on the DVR of the fat shark goggles. And we are going to be flying the XKX251 with the FX798T all-in-one VTX. So let's go. All right, here we go. We are looking at right now is the recorded video from the phone directly in front or in the back of the EV800 goggles here. And as you can see, the video quality is excellent. This is what you will be looking at if you were to be wearing the goggles. Uh, it is fantastic, it is very clear. Even if you look close enough and blow up this video a little bit, you are not able to make out pixels at all. It is that clear. At 480 pixel count, it is fantastic. Uh, you are able to see everything very clear, like I said and it is very comfortable on your face as well so here we are uh, that tree on the left there it is around 160 somewhat meters away so we are turning around roughly at around 180 meters you saw some static there so uh, just a reminder that uh, we are using a 25 milliwatt vtx on top of the uh, xk x251 so yeah, that is pretty decent uh, video clarity uh, all the way up to 180 somewhat meters. Oop, there's a little blackout there. 
Uh, now we are going towards the initial part of the field. Uh, right here, we are turning around, right at around almost 200 meters. And you saw some static there and here. And that is completely fine at that far of a distance with a 25 milliwatt VTX is, um, is very common. And you see a lot of static here now because we are heading towards the jungle where all the trees are blocking the transmission um, in both ways. So I'm going towards the tree right here and you're going to see a lot of static, uh, almost a complete blackout here. Uh, what I'm doing is rising up in altitude to get away from all that static so I can get some uh, uh, video reception here and going back down towards where I am. Uh, whenever you're stuck in a situation like that where um, reception is lost, uh, go up in altitude if something is blocking the, uh, the transmission. So that's one way to get out of uh, the crash or losing your drone or, you know, catastrophe can happen. So rise up in altitude. Here I am circling around uh, uh, the horse stables here, going behind the car uh, where you see a little bit of static as I'm passing right behind of the car where the car is blocking the transmission. So again, right around here is where the car is blocking. You see the transmission lost there with some static. All right, so all in all, this EV800 is a fantastic goggles for sub 100, way below sub 100. I think it's like 70, 70, $80. Um, so I'm gonna land it over here. And what I'm going to do next is we're going to do a split screen comparison uh, versus the Fat Shark goggles on the right half of the screen and the EV800, same video that you just seen here on the left. Here we go. Uh, like I said, on the left is the same video we have just um, been looking at a minute ago and on the right is the fat shark recorded video from the fat shark dvr now i wished all of the goggles uh, like the ev800 came with a dvr a micro sd dvr um, you can record your sessions you don't have to have an external dvr mounted onto your helmet or your goggles sorry not a helmet but um all in all, you need something else to record your video if you are going to use this EV800. Anyways, uh, as you can see, the video quality differs quite somewhat. On the left, the EV800 is a little bit more oversaturated. The skies are a lot bluer uh, than the normal blue. On the right, the Fast Shark goggles, of course, is more realistic colors. As you can see, uh, at that 180 or so meters away turning around, the Fast Shark goggles had no problems. Uh, the EV800 had a little bit of uh, static here and there. But also behind a car passing, the Fast Shark also has a little bit of static here. Now we are headed back towards the initial uh, 186 meter point, which I'm going to pass and turn around at around 200 meters. So here we go. As you can see, the Fast Shark had no problems while the EV800 had a lot of static disturbances here. Now, we are headed towards the jungle one more time. Now we can compare and contrast uh, the quality. Even the Fat Shark goggles are having a hard time. And the reason why is because uh, the 25 milliwatt VTX that we are using on top of the uh, X251. Now, right around here, both of the goggles are gonna black out almost. And this is when I uh, rise in altitude and find myself out of that jam and the fast shark goggles was able to um, help me out because I was able to still see through the um, all that static just a little bit to make my way out so thank God I did and now we're circling around uh, the horse stable area in the back of the car um, testing out the, uh, the cars uh, interference with the uh, static the transmission and here we go. Uh, both of the goggles do have a little bit of static passing behind the car. And once again, there you go. A little bit of line here and there on both of the, uh, the goggles. So the EV800 is holding its value here. If you're looking at the Fast Shark goggles, it is $350 plus the receiver. And the EV800 goggles comes with the battery and everything all in one. Uh, minus the DVR, of course, 
but it is sub 100 at 70 somewhat $80, so it is a fantastic value for the money. All right, now I got the Fat Shark goggles uh, recording, and it's ready. And I've got my EV800 goggles on my head. And we got the XKX251 with the same setup and a new battery installed and ready to go. So let's go. Okay, here we go. Now I'm wearing the EV800 goggles, um, trying to fly around around the same area. I'm not going to go into the jungle area because of uh, the massive blackouts that I experienced earlier. So I'm just going to fly around uh, in the line of sight area. I'm not going to go uh, towards the tree area at all. Uh, I was thinking about it, but I decided, no, I'm not. Um, I don't want to get uh, in a jam and uh, hit the trees or something. And there's a little uh, water running through those area too. And I don't want to land in the water as well. <laughs> so here we go. We're just turning around in the horse stable area, just flying around. And uh, I am able to see everything, all the trees, all of the little posts on the ground. And it's a joy to be wearing this EV800 goggles. Uh, the clarity is so clear. Even though the, um, the Fresnel lens is fixed, uh, it is fixed at a, a spot where it's perfect for me anyways. Like the uh, VRD2 goggles where the, uh, the Fresnel lens is movable and adjustable. I just cannot find the perfect spot for it. Uh, sometimes I push it all the way out, sometimes I pull it in a little bit and whatnot, but um, you know, this EV800 goggles is perfect. Uh, you just put it on your head and you are good to go. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe and share and have a great day.